A young South Florida man is making Miami proud tonight. He's the driving force behind a growing movement that he started after his neighborhood was flooded by Hurricane Irma back in 2017. CBS News Miami's Dave Warren shows us how he's helping replace our natural coastlines one mangrove at a time. To me, planting mangroves not only is it, you know, an entertaining and fun activity, but I personally really feel helpful and feel like I can make an impact doing something like this and making a difference. That difference starts small. Will Sharuas has been growing and planting these for a while now. That's one down and a lot more to go. I've presented my A Million Mangroves initiative to many different events, climate summits. It's a million mangroves in the ground by 2030. It's a goal that has numerous benefits for those who call these waters and coastline home. Right now our coastal infrastructure uh, has uh, uh, impacted their uh, footprint significantly, and that's why we have those policies in place right now for their protection. Landoff Road Barbregos is an associate professor at the University of Miami's College of Engineering. He says replacing mangroves with coastal development has consequences. There is that aspect of decreasing the habitat, there is that aspect of uh, altering the coastline itself and its beauty, but there is also the other aspect that it, we're exposing ourselves to uh, uh, the impact of those storms that we might have. 2017, Hurricane Irma, that storm inspired Will to start his movement. And that was a really impactful hurricane because it really affected not only me, but you know my community, my hometown. It was the first hurricane like I remember living through and the streets were completely flooded, the airport was really flooded. So that's when I firsthand kind of realized that you know, climate change is real and sea level rise is real. That realization led to action. He founded Forces of Nature. He started it alone, but now has many who want to help him achieve his goal. One mangrove at a time, on the way to a million. He's not alone. A lot of my friends helped me. I've invited a lot of friends, family, and, you know, neighbors out to help and clean up. Not only clean up, but also plant. Coastal cleanup and planting is just half of what his organization does. The other half involves helping the movement grow. It's one's the cleanups, one's the plantings, one's kind of researching and how to best, you know, maximize and optimize growing um, mangroves at my house or in a lab. And then the last part is the education component. It has not gone unnoticed. He's been recognized as a 2024 Prudential Emerging Visionary, receiving $5,000 to take his vision to the next level. For now, it's back to work working towards his goal one mangrove at a time. So some of these plantings are natural. A lot of them are ones that Will and his Forces of Nature nonprofit have already put in. Put in about a couple thousand right now, but they're aiming for a million. It'll help preserve and protect South Florida's coastline. In Matheson Hammock State Park, I'm Dave Warren for CBS News Miami.